Hey there. So, you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one. When you travel, you usually... Well, if that's your idea, fun. <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? Right on. Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... But you might also watch a movie to... Haha, <laughs> thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. You have to be careful with the people you meet on the way, believe me. Don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10-year commemoration honoring the victims Give us all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who built the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. for the ride, homie. Now I got time to work on this game. I can do better than talk about it. Give me an hour, and I'll show you the beta. Need to charge my super dope tech in the back. Yo, go on. Ask me a question. I can multitask like an MFR. -er. Yeah. Be careful with what you eat. Try to avoid rotting food. But you know. Beggars can't always be choosers and all that. True, true. Now, let me get back to this beta. games, you know. Built that computer, too. One day, everyone will have a computer like that. Nah, sounds stupid.
stupid dog. I'm telling you, small computers are the future. Hungry? Ask your small computer for food. Lost? Ask your small computer for directions. I'm telling you. Yo, are we gonna play this bad boy or not? It's called Furious Tanks. You got tanks, and they're furious. You're blue. This is easy mode. Red tank can't fire. It's like begging you to blow it up. You got skills. Now we play for real. Uh-oh. Alex is about to take off the gloves. Ouch. Yo, maybe we can make it better. Maybe the player has to gather ammo? Maybe the bullets bounce off the walls? What do you think? Let me just... Boom! Game time, dog. So, what do you think? And be honest, I hate liars. Okay, let me change this real quick. Done. So, what do you think now? Yeah, guess it's not quite ready yet. Needs more incubation. Yo, one day 100 people will play the same game at the same time. Now that's a good idea. We gotta make that game one day. You're blowing my mind, homie. No one. I just picked it up on my own. My intellect is vast and sponge-like, dog. It's... It's all good, homie. It's just... I don't know my parents. Not my real parents, anyway. You know the attack in 86? Yeah. Well... I think my bio parents died in the attack, too. The really sad part is, I got no memories of them. None. No matter how hard I try, I just have this picture.
It's from GNN, the day of the attack. They appear for just one sec. I learned a lot about computers enhancing this. Yeah. In a way, I guess my bio parents did teach me about computers. Thanks, homie. Guess I needed to talk and didn't know it. <laughs> 20 bucks. That's steep. You can drop me off at the next location. Yo, your fuel is low, dog. You're gonna run out of gas fast. I know that. Think I'm blind? Now, crank some music. We best ride in style. You're gonna vote, right? Oh, okay, good. You know, that's another reason Tyrax sends you teens you know where. So that your vote can't be heard. That's Zoe on her trumpet. Careful with that one. She's trouble. Get your tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't gonna show for this. I don't have time for this. Just admit you stole from me and... I didn't do it. Just stole money from my office, then tried to pay our rent with it. I don't need your money, man. Who the hell are you, kid? Some kind of teen superhero? You teens. I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. You didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. Oh, I've met worse, believe me. Anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. Then you've found your paradise, man. There's some cardboard around here, and you're dancing Carl. No sweat. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? What do you want? On my grounds? Definitely not. You look lost. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my room. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of Tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. But will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. Feel free to join and if now, you can hang. Here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, Papa Baby loves you. 
You don't look at Lily dance with outside, me. Denny. I'm on another level. Turn it off but before you get up. us arrested. See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? What? I can't hear you over the music. And don't need to scream. Go talk to the owner in his office. The, there's some cardboard right there, but I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. with me. Up here. Come here. Sit with me. You don't have any marshmallows, do you? Sorry. I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria, like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. To have a normal life? My dad says I'm lucky because I have a privileged life here, but that life disgusts me, especially now that I know. Hmm. I. I don't know, but it's got to be better than this, no? Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. <laughs> Don't be scared, man. Give it a shot. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's try it with the music. <laughs> I should be recording this. <laughs> okay, faster. It. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. You're in a hurry to cross. I like that. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, uh, this is for you, to remember this moment.
Welcome to my luxurious limo. You're wondering why I've given you a ride. I gave you a ride because I know your secret. That you're my biggest fan. I don't deny it, honey buns. Well, it's written all over you. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. There's a normal-sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal-sized buttons. Go on. Sugar, but the music never stops in Sonia's limo, nor does the party. Now I'm just gonna grab the normal size remote on this side and. Oh, look at that! That's what rich people call a sunroof. Now go on, climb up there. Sometimes, while spraying a bottle of champagne and yelling, Woohoo! Do me a favor and grab one of those fan letters beside you. Don't like to touch them much myself. What's it say? That's nice. You know what it isn't? Receiving death threats. Comes with the territory of being rich and famous, I guess. That's why I got Adam, my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Probably one of those loser black brigades or liberal Flores supporters. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. I've been getting letters for ten years, Snookums. Yet here I still am. Sonia? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. We say it's live, but... <laughs> That'd be way too hard. With the election only a few months away, early polls show Tyrak well ahead of Flores. And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens. And blah, 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 blah. You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. Teens trying to cross is our bread and butter at GNN. I've even heard about kids crossing via Mount National. Can you imagine? Objective journalism don't get many views, sweetie. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonia? 
It wasn't me who rang, Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonya's biggest fan? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. More and more. It's this upcoming election. It's given people... Oh, what's that word? Hope? You suck! Sonia! CNN is pirate news! think my station is owned and operated by the state, which it's not. I mean, not 100%. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Hey, get out of my way. Yeah, you, loser, get out of my way. Hey, get out of here, loser. Sonia, please get back in the limo. Your Sonia, don't you, honey pie? Uh oh, they have rocks again. That's what I say on my show all the time. Uh oh, police is blowing this party up. Well, these terrorists are enemies of the state. there was ever any doubt. Exciting, no? I'm joking, sweetie. Sweetie Pie, I'm gonna take you a little further than I originally intended. Here, you deserve it. Now go on and play with the remote again if you want. Y you sure this place is closed, Stan? All the lights are on. Yeah, just just leave those on, Tisker criminals. Well, didn't work. Nope. Stan. You there. Want to be part of something big? I break in. Probably the best ever. Best ever? You say that before all our crimes. And every time, it's true. Let's talk in the back. Come on, time to get started. Okay, so Mitch is casing out the place. 
We need to be real quiet. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Yeah, this should be a piece of cake. Okay, let's go. There's a psycho after Sonia, and we need to protect her. Yeah, sweet Sonia's in danger. Yeah, well, she's a national icon. Kid, you go in through the vents here. You use my lucky lockpick to get in. It's lucky because I've never had to actually use it. Okay, let's do this. But, uh, maybe you'd like to ask us something first? Steal as much as you can. Yeah. We do that a lot. Nah, I'm pretty sure we'd still steal. Yeah. Now come here, little buddy. Little buddy, come here. Finally! I thought we'd never get him. Stan, we talked about this. You need to work on your patience. Kid, can you see us on the camera? Look around. See a layout of the office? Like we didn't already know that. Let's do this already. Oh, oh no, something's beeping. It's an alarm. Kid, stop the alarm. Make it stop. Cut the alarm, kid. 
What, what do we do, Stan? I don't know, but I can't go back to prison. Kill the alarm, kid. Kid, stop the alarm. Make it stop. Cut the alarm. <sighs> Thanks, little buddy. Why are you thanking him? He forgot to cut it. Stan, he's not an expert criminal like us. Mitch, help me with this door. Hello, this is security. We're responding to an alert. Everything all right? I see, but the number we've called is Happy Taxi's office. Yes, that office. So what is happening? What triggered the alarm? You'll want to close and lock all windows in the future, sir. Anyway, thank you for your explanation. Just a second, sir. I'll also need Happy Taxi's security password. It's just protocol. That won't do. We'll send an agent if you can't give us the password. What's happening, kid? No, I cannot. We're looking for a password. I'm waiting, sir. What is the password? Posted here. Says A45 D2R CPP12. Maybe that's it. That's not it, sir. Want me to read it again? It's A45 D2R CPP12. Thank you for your time and take care. I got it, Stan. Finally! What took you so long? You know I don't like to rush things. This is a break-in, Mitch! Look, the manager's office! Oh man, the door is a code. Any idea? Uh, try one, two, three, four. No. Four, three, two, one? Nope. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Kid, you're in the security room. Code must be in there somewhere. Find it! Hold on! Nope. <laughs> it worked! I'm in! What the heck? Kid, are you seeing this? Hold on! There's tape on the camera! There! We knew someone was obsessed with Sonya, but this is Cray Cray. It's him, Mitch! The Seiko cabbie after her! You two! Stop! Close the door! Who was that guy? Looks like the security service sent an agent. Open this door immediately! Listen! You don't want any trouble! Give me the manager's office code! Don't give him the code, kid! We're close to finding where this creep is going to attack. The kid betrayed us. Let's get out of here. But we still don't know where he's going to attack. It's too late. Let's go. Hey, stop right there.
Unit 2 to Central. Come in. I'm not a bad person. That's enough. What are you looking at, Peach Fuzz? That's what I thought. I'm not really in the mood for a chat, but fine, go ahead. Of course I have thoughts. Not really, sorry. Well, good. Unit 2 to Central, come in. Unit 2 to Central. Hey. You gotta help me. She's taking me to the pits. Where have you been living? The Iron Pits. Where are they saying teens caught trying to flee the country? Turn around. And you, stay out of this. Kid, what did I say? Mind your own business. They're gonna send me to the pits to mine. I'll never see my family again. Of course he'll see his family. And remind me why I'm telling you this? Then why the missing teen posters? That's just brigade misinformation is all. Oh, you don't really believe that, do you? Huh? Believe what? That the teen work camp doesn't exist. Ma'am, now's not the time for a discussion. I'm just doing my job. We should. You don't seem like a bad person, officer. Just confused. Confused? Ha! You liberals crack me up. Look, this is official police business. My car broke down, okay? I hate to say it, but they are. They absolutely are. I'm nobody's puppet. Look, I've heard the stories too, but they're false. Fake news. Fake news? <laughs> I'm a mother. I'd never send a kid to a place like that. Not intentionally, I know, but you are. What did you arrest this kid for? Look, I'm not gonna... He was trying to cross the border, okay? Then he's gonna end up, you know where, whether you think they exist or not. That's enough, sir. Now, both of you, please turn around. You're starting to irritate me, Peach Fuzz. Know that? Yeah, kid's right. What authority do you really have? Unit 2 to Central. Come in. Unit 2 to Central. Where are they? Citizens should be able to arrest cops. You know that? To keep them honest. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Can we pretend you, you never arrested me? Why can't we? Does anyone know you've arrested him? No, but... Now that's enough! From everyone! Please, officer. Just get off at the next stop. That's all you have to do. I'm not gonna say it again!
Unit 2 to Central. Come in! Unit 2 to Central. Stop telling me what to do! All of you! What's going on here? He woke me up. Ah! Whoa, whoa! Take it easy! You've crossed the line! Unit 2, this is Central. Everything okay? Over? You can still do the right thing. Don't tell them about the kid. Unit 2, are you there? Unit 2 here. I just wanted to tell you I had some car trouble. I'm on the bus now. Over. Unit 2, I... I need a car to pick me up. <laughs> it's gonna be all right, okay?
Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? I just hope it'll actually be democratic, but I'm not holding my breath. Even if it's not voter intimidation, they have other ways of altering the results. Special 10-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. I'm not much for conspiracy theories, normally. I hear there are incriminating government docs out there. If we could just get our hands on those, 